a half century since it launched the first American to orbit, NASA has begun a new era of space exploration. With the International Space Station established as a permanent human outpost in low Earth orbit, NASA has embarked on two parallel paths of future spaceflight. Both are complementary, and both are revolutionary. On one path, NASA is fostering American private industry to develop commercially available flights to orbit for cargo and eventually people. On the other path, NASA is focusing its expertise to build new spacecraft and rockets to take America to deep space, farther than we've ever been before. Two pathways to two frontiers. One maintains and expands our foothold in familiar territory. The other extends our reach into the unknown. From Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, a commercial rocket roars into the sky. It's the first of a new generation of commercial launch systems. Its flight is made possible largely because, for decades, NASA has opened the borders of space. Whether it's building and launching spacecraft, taking humans to the moon, or making Earth orbit a place for everyday work, NASA's experience is America's experience. The technologies from those achievements helped build our nation's aerospace industry. With those missions, NASA poured the foundation of United States human spaceflight. Now, NASA is partnering with private American companies so they may join the voyage. The International Space Station, the largest, most complex space vehicle ever built, and it has become our permanent home in space. Crews live and work on board, conducting research and experiments to improve life on Earth. Their work is also preparing us for those longer journeys that are ahead. But the station also serves as a catalyst for the evolution of commercial spaceflight. Station crews need regular shipments of food, water, clothing, spare parts, and experiments. That demand creates an opportunity for commercial space companies to augment cargo shipments by NASA's international partners. I view these vehicles like wagon trains supplying some government-run fort out west. And it doesn't matter whose wagon train it is, what's important is that the wagon train eventually makes it to the fort, and I, that's the, the, the model that I see. Two companies, Orbital Sciences and SpaceX, are both in the final stages of building and testing new unmanned cargo craft to fly to the station. So, so we have to have customers at the end of the day that, that, um, where we can provide a useful service um, and that can also prove out the, 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 the rocket technology. With every flight we learn more. You know, just being able to work in collaboration with NASA is, is awesome and that, that teaches us a lot. So to be, to be a part of that, that enormous effort is, uh, is, is really great. Other companies, including Blue Origin, Sierra Nevada, United Launch Alliance, ATK, Excalibur Almaz, Boeing, as well as SpaceX, are working to eventually fly crews to the station. It is a new approach to spaceflight. NASA lends its experience, but the companies design, launch, and own the spacecraft. We didn't talk about how to do it. We didn't say how large the vehicle needed to be, how much propulsion, how much thrust, how much volume there had to be in the particular cargo carrier. The only time we got specific about requirements were the interfaces with the space station, the electrical, the data interfaces, and the safety requirements. Everything else was goal-driven so that the companies can use their innovation and optimize their systems so the best possible system to deliver these supplies to the station. While commercial partners focus on reaching orbit, NASA is at work on a spacecraft and launch vehicle to explore the solar system. NASA's space launch system will be the most versatile and powerful rocket ever built. It will launch crews farther into space than ever before to an asteroid back to the moon, or even onto Mars. Sitting atop the Space Launch System is Orion, 
NASA's new ship to take astronauts on those journeys. So Orion is really a, an exploration spacecraft. It's the vehicle that will house the crew when we do those uh, exploration missions. It provides the life support, the power, uh, stowage for their food. It also then provides the propulsion uh, and the other systems that allow us to go to those uh, far-reaching distant places. Work is well underway on Orion. Hardware is being built from coast to coast. Testing, checks, and reviews all march toward a first unmanned test flight in 2014. Orion will fly 10 times farther from the Earth than the space station. It will return to Earth at speeds not experienced since the Apollo missions to the moon. Orion also benefits commercial partners. As NASA creates and tests Orion hardware, the lessons from parachute tests, heat shield development, and aerodynamic studies are shared. The collaboration prevents duplication and speeds development. The programs mature together and ultimately rely on each other for success. We want to stimulate the commercial space industry in America. That is part of NASA's charter. We have seen great progress with the companies. There's a tremendous amount of talent and knowledge and experience out there. The commercial uh, systems allow us to do the space station mission cheaper so we can enable doing the stuff we've never done before.